Hey everybody, this is Super Nerd Quest, and today we're going to be doing this awesome ravine base. Coming up are all the materials that you're going to be using for this whole build. Once you're done looking at those materials, we can get going. This is the ravine that we're going to be building our base in. Now I did a little terraforming on each side to make it a little flatter. The distance is obviously 19, so let's get going with the build. The first thing we're going to do is build the supports for the base. Now the distance between these is 7 blocks, so be paying attention or you'll mess it all up. Now that this side is done, we're going to be extending just like Mr. Fantastic all the way across the ravine with slabs. Once that's done, we can go ahead and make the other supports on the other side. Now here at the bottom, we're going to be using more slabs. You're going to count out five first and then place a dark wood log. Then you're going to count out seven slabs and place another dark wood log. And then you can finish it off with, you guessed it, more slabs. We need a little more support up top. So all the way around, we're going to be placing some fences and gates. Now pay attention because on all of the dark wood logs, you're placing fences and then the rest are gates. We're almost done with the supports, now we just need to add some lanterns and we'll be done. Just like Captain America says, Blocks a symbol, and that's exactly what we're going to do on this first big wall. Now we're going to do this step by step, block by block, so hurry up and pay attention and don't get lost.
Okay, now we're gonna take the top part and put it down on the bottom. But this time it's gonna be upside down, so that's kind of cool. If you didn't notice from the first one, we're placing two darkwood logs. That's because we gotta hang something from them later on. Now to give this wall a little character and a little depth. So we're gonna add some decorations to the outside. We did it guys, that's the first wall complete. Now we're gonna speed up this second wall because it's exactly the same as the first wall. Now we're gonna do the floor and the ceiling. For most of these, we're using strip dark oak logs because it will look really cool. Now there's a little decoration in the middle of the floor, which we're gonna have to do now. Also in the middle of this floor, we're gonna be placing a trap door so we can get down to our hanging storage area that we're gonna build a little bit later. Now on to the ceiling. First we're gonna place the border all the way around using stone bricks. And on either side we're gonna have some spots open where we can place our ladder because otherwise we won't have a way to get up and down. Duh. Now we can work underneath since we're done with the top. First, we're gonna place some lanterns down here to have some light. With our lanterns placed, we're gonna go all the way around with some dark oak leaves, and in front of that, we're gonna use some dark oak stairs.
Just like Spider-Man, we're gonna be hanging a storage area down below. So just follow along with me here. Back and forth, back and forth, so many blocks to place. Okay, time to place the barrels that we're going to use for our stores. This is a nice, easy little storage area that you can place anywhere, but it's super cool when it's hanging underneath your base. Now we need to get a ladder all the way up there. We're going to use a trap door to put our ladders on because they're smaller and they take up a lot less space.
finally time for the inside. We're going to be working on both of these walls first, so let's go. I told you we needed a way to get up and down into our base. I'm like so smart. Now just do the exact same thing to the other side. It should be pretty easy because you nailed the first one. Now we're going to do all of the furniture in our survival needed block. Since I'm like super good at killing mobs and the ender dragon, I'm gonna put all my super rare weapons and armor on this wall. Ask anybody, my armor's even cooler than Iron Man's. Now to finish off the inside, we're going to be doing a little more decorations up in these corners with some stairs and then we're going to make a little setting area in the middle. Everyone wants a little privacy when they're just sitting and relaxing, so we're going to be building these partitions just to separate the inside just a tad. Last but not least, some couches to lounge in, and then we're going to place some light fixtures just to give us a little more, well, light.
And there you have it, a super cool ravine base that I designed all by myself. If you enjoyed this video, which I know you did, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button and turn on those notifications, notif the, the, the bell, and you'll see all my future videos. And until next time, everyone, I'll catch you later.